Eduard Buckner, the 20th of May 1860 to the 13th of August 1917, was a German chemist and zymologist, awarded the 1907 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on fermentation. Topic: Biography. Topic: Early years. Buckner was born in Munich to a physician and doctor extraordinary of forensic medicine. His older brother was Hans Ernst August Buckner. In 1884, he began studies of chemistry with Adolf von Bayer and of botany with Karl Nageli, at the Botanic Institute in Munich. After a period working with Hermann Emil Fischer in Erlangen, Buckner was awarded a doctorate from the University of Munich in 1888 under Theodor Kirchus. He died in the Battle of Marisesti and is buried in the cemetery of German soldiers from Foxani, Romania. Topic: Research. The experiment for which Buckner won the Nobel Prize consisted of producing a cell-free extract of yeast cells and showing that this press juice could ferment sugar. This dealt yet another blow to vitalism by showing that the presence of living yeast cells was not needed for fermentation. The cell-free extract was produced by combining dry yeast cells, quartz and kieselger and then pulverizing the yeast cells with a pestle and mortar. This mixture would then become moist as the yeast cells' contents would come out of the cells. Once this step was done, the moist mixture would be put through a press and the resulting press juice had glucose, fructose, or maltose added and carbon dioxide was seen to evolve, sometimes for days. Microscopic investigation revealed no living yeast cells in the extract. Buckner hypothesized that yeast cells secrete proteins into their environment in order to ferment sugars, but it was later found that fermentation occurs inside the yeast cells. Maria Manassena claimed to have discovered free cell fermentation a generation earlier than Buckner, though it is believed by some that the Buckner flask and the Buckner funnel are named for him, they are actually named for the industrial chemist Ernst Buckner. Buckner received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1907. <laughs> Personal life Buckner married Lot Stahl in 1900. At the outbreak of the First World War he volunteered and rose to the rank of major commanding a munition transport unit on the Western and then Eastern Front. In March 1916 he returned the University of Würzburg. In April 1917 he volunteered again. On the 11th of August 1917, while stationed at Foxani, Romania, he was hit by a shell fragment and died two days later. Topic. Publications. Eduard Buckner 1897 Alkoholisch Garung ohne Hefezellen Bericht der Deutschen Chemischen Gesellschaft 32117-124 DOI 10.1002 CBER.1897030001 Eduard Buckner Rudolf Rapp 1899 Alkoholisch Garung ohne Hefezellen Bericht der Deutschen Chemischen Gesellschaft. 32 2086-2094. doi. 10.1002, CBER.1899032021233. Robert Kohler The Background to Eduard Buckner's Discovery of Cell-Free Fermentation. Journal of the History of Biology, 4 35-61. Doi 10.1007 BF0035697. PMID 11609437. Robert Kohler, 1972. The reception of Eduard Buckner's discovery of cell-free fermentation. Journal of the History of Biology, 52, 327-353. Doi 10.1007 BF0034663 PMID 11610124 Topic References Topic External Links Works by or about Eduard Buckner at Internet Archive Buckner's Nobel Lecture Cell-Free Fermentation Biography 
Buckner, Eduard "'Alcoholic Fermentation Without Yeast Cells'". BERDT. Chem. Jess, 32-117-124. Archived from the original on 19 August 2006. English translation of Buckner's "'Alcoholisch Garung ohne Hefezellen' 